Hi guys, it's Monica Blunder, makeup artist. So today I'm actually gonna show you how I did a Kate Moss inspired makeup look. Now I wasn't planning on doing this look today. The model arrived, her name is Sam Black, and uh, we actually wanted to do a spring look, but like last minute we decided to do this look because I just thought this makeup look is perfect for her. She kind of looks a little bit of a Sienna Miller type girl or a Kate Moss, but that makeup look Kate Moss wears is just a very kind Kind of iconic eye makeup look it's a smudgy rock and roll kind of like the cool girl effect makeup look and uh, it's so easy to do it's literally just kind of like using black eye pencil and a little bit of shadow and you're blending in the colors together and it's such a fun makeup look and i hope you like it now don't forget to like my video and as always leave me some nice comments and follow me both on twitter and on instagram i love all of you and i love your support and uh, thanks for everything. Bye. Hi, Sam. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, being here today. Oh, I'm, it's my pleasure. I can't wait to get beautified by you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a inspired Kate Moss look on you. And actually, I've already primed your face a little bit earlier. And I wanted to show the product I've used. This is the Hourglass N number 28 Primer Serum. Now, you have pretty dry skin. I guess living in California <laughs> and being in the sun, sometimes that happens. Uh, this primer is just amazing because it's really hydrating. And uh, it's great for people who have dry skin. It's pretty oily. So when you use it and then immediately go into foundation, sometimes it's a bit too much so let it sink in a little bit and I love it it, it smells so good feels too. great doesn't yeah. it and so I'm doing a Kate Moss inspired look so your eyes are going to be darker and I've never done this before but I'm actually starting with your eye makeup first today so the first thing is I'm using a NARS primer this is a eye primer and I like using a primer especially close if I'm doing uh, a bit more eye makeup so and it also works really well for people who have oilier eyelids or also if you just really want your eye makeup to last all day. Now I also want to mention that you do have um, eyelash extensions. So they look really great by the way. They're done really nicely. Thank you. Next step is I'm using my Naked 2 palette and I'm only going to use this grayish color. This one is called Pistol. And I might use the blackout later on a little bit. And I'm using this brush right here. It's Otova in number 10. And uh, Kate Moss's makeup usually is always very sexy, smoky eye makeup. And she, I don't think she uses a lot of eyeshadow. But like everything is more focused closer to the lash line. So I'm applying this shadow first. Kind of halfway on her eyelid. And everything is done very kind of smoky and there's no re like really defined lines. Everything is kind of smudged in. Like a smudgy look I think is the perfect way to describe it. Next step is I'm going in with my MAC eyeliner pencil. It's an eye cold pencil. This one is smaller. I'm applying this on the lash line, the upper lash line first. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just kind of Put it on all over. It can be a little bit thicker too. And then we'll go in with our smudging brush. This is like a dome brush by Otova. And then we'll just kind of smudge it all in together with the gray eyeshadow as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm bringing the pencil in the upper waterline. Perfect. All these imperfections, don't worry about that. We're going to clean that up later. Now I'm going to take my black pencil open and I'm going to bring that in the inner lower waterline. And it can be kind of messy, no worries. Bring it all the way in. And then I take a smudge brush, something like this. This is a Laura Mercier. I'm taking that and I'm just kind of smudging whatever is left in between the lashes. 
And now I just want, want to warm it up a little bit. I'm bringing this color here. It's called Busted. Also on the lower and upper lash line. Just a little bit to smudge it in even more. Open up. I'm going to bring that color. In here and then you can go back with your pencil and then I go in between the lashes we get a little bit more black do the same thing on the upper lash line one more time I go back with busted over what I've just done just to give it more of a smudge and then I go back with my black pencil and it's all about layering. This eye makeup, it's all about layering and smudging and blending. And now you can see like all these kind of fallouts. Don't worry about that. That's why we started off with the eye makeup first. And I will show you later how to clean that up. Now I'm going to also bring, open up, that black pencil a little bit more in the inner corners. And then I'm going to take my palette one more time and I'm going to take the black, black out. And I'm going to put that on a dome brush, which is my Sigma E30 brush. And I'm just going to bring a little bit more black, just a little bit more here on the outer corners, just to make it a little bit more black. All right, so I'm going to bring in one more color right here, the color Tease. And I'm just going to so to blend it out a little bit, we'll just bring that a little bit in the crease. It's almost like it's not noticeable. It's just so the colors blend nicely together. So we have already applied uh, the color Pistol right here on your upper lash line. And now I go back in with my MAC pencil in Smolder. And again, this does not need to be perfect just kind of apply it. It doesn't have to be thin because we're going to use a blending brush later. Open up. Perfect. Now I'll go back in with my Uchova 7P brush, just blending the eyeshadow and the pencil together. Okay, we have the black smolder pencil on your lower lash line. And then you can see how it already kind of by itself, you know, goes in between the lashes. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking my brush and I'm enhancing that and I'm just going in there and I'm wiggling the product backwards and forwards. And I'm almost dragging the black, which is inside the waterline, down a little bit. And then I go backwards and forwards. And that's the best way of smudging the product in perfectly. Okay, so we just applied the pencil and I'm bringing back the pistol color and I'm putting that on my Laura Mercier smudge brush and I'm bringing that also on the lower lash line. And then I go back in with my pencil. So what I really want to do is like just kind of combine those two colors so it just all becomes one color. All right, so we're going to go back in with my crease color, the color Tease, and I'm putting that on my MAC 217 brush. And the reason why I'm using that color close is just to kind of, you know, blend everything together to give the crease right here a little bit of definition. And I'm also putting it on your lid so it just all kind of blends in together nicely. Okay, last thing again is my black out from the palette and I'm also just intensifying the black and I start on the outer corner and I go whatever is left on my brush inwards as close as possible on my lash line and then I'm just gonna blend that in with my blending brush. Open. All right, so I just decided to also bring that color snake bite just a little bit also on the lower lash line, just to also give it a little bit more warmth to the eye makeup. Just smudge it all in together. Now the eye makeup is done. Now, since you do have the lash extensions, um, I'm just gonna put on like one coat of mascara and then I'm gonna show you how to clean um, 
your eye makeup off a little bit before we put on uh, foundation. Open up. I'm also going to put a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line. Now we all also think that you look kind of like Sienna Miller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have people told you that? <laughs> Yeah, I've gotten Kate yeah. Moss, Sienna Miller. Yeah. You guys are pretty spot on. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, okay, now to clean off uh, right underneath your eyes, as you can see in the camera, there is definitely fallout from the eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to just use my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes and uh, just go in with my towelette and I'll just clean that entire under eye area with my towelette and you can see how much makeup comes off. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. And then if you feel like that you've done the liner too thick, you can always go in with that wipe and make it a bit thinner. And I'm coming in with my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua in number 40. Now make sure that you shake this uh, foundation really well before you use it because it is water based. And then I'm putting it on my hand first. And then I'm using a IT brush. This is the airbrush smoothing foundation brush. And I'm just applying it directly with the brush on your face. And I'm kind of just starting around your chin area. And I work my way upwards and outwards. I think this foundation is just perfect for you. It's not too heavy. Very wearable for during the day, looks super natural. And I think using that primer we've used earlier just really works really well, that combination for your skin type. Now you've seen I've not touched the eyebrows yet. I'm gonna do the eyebrows after I'm done with this foundation because you know you are applying foundation and then you're rubbing around that area, so I like doing it afterwards. All right, so uh, next step is concealer. I have a new concealer, everybody. I'm not using my everyday NARS one. <laughs> this is the new Tom Ford uh, concealer pen. I love this. And I like the application part. It has this really nice little spongy application. So you can either do it directly out of the tube like that. And uh, it has it's really nice full coverage, but it also goes on really smooth, covers really well. And it's very blendable. I'm always looking for a concealer which blends nicely because you don't really want to see the concealer. You, you want it to do what it needs to do, but we don't want to really see it. So I like the way how this product blends. And I like applying it with my MAC 217 brush. And I'm just kind of buffing it in. All right, so I just applied the concealer and as you can see, I just smoothened out those edges a little bit more with a Q-tip. What I did is just kind of blended it in with the concealer and I also took my smudge brush and I put a little bit more of the snake bite shadow on it and I just kind of like, you know, blended it all together so it looks nice and smooth and uh, very rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's move on to your brows. Uh, your brows are beautiful. Thank I'm just going to brush them up. I'm going to fill them in just a tiny bit like right out here. There's a few little gaps. And I'm using also an Anastasia product, but this one is a powder. And this one is medium ash to medium brown. And it looks like that. And uh, I'm using it on a Anastasia angled brush in number 12. And I'm going to just kind of mix those two colors together. Okay, so I'm basically just drawing in hair in little flick-like motions. And the reason why I chose this powder is because it's very natural. And since we've done a pretty intense eye, I don't want the brows to be too heavy. And I just want to like really basically make them look super natural. Really, I don't want them to look like we actually did anything to them. And I'm going in with my little Tarte brow gel. It's a colored brow gel and the color is called taupe. And I'm just putting that on top of your brows. And this is also really nice because it almost adds on a little bit more texture to your brows. It almost like, you know, adds on little strokes of hair. Perfect, let's move on to doing your glow. For that, I'm using this Dior Gorgeous Bronzer. It's called Dior uh, Skin Nude Air in Tan Powder. 
I love, love, love this product. Look how gorgeous. And also the reason why I love it is because there's not too much shimmer in there. It's just the right amount. And I'm using this cute little brush here by NARS. Thank <laughs> you. And uh, again, I'm not really uh, doing any like harsh contours or anything like that. So we don't need a thinner brush. We just want to like add that gorgeous California glow to your face. And for that, I'm just starting here on the outer corners and I'm going in in round circular motions, adding some gorgeous tan or color to your, to your face. All right, so we're almost done. I just applied a little bit of this Hourglass lip oil on your lips since they're a little bit dry. The next step is I'm using this perfect lipstick for you. Uh, since we have done a Kate Moss inspired look, this is uh, actually designed for Kate Moss. It's called Nude Kate by Charlotte Tilbury. Like the perfect nude. Look how much I've already used of this color. I love hmm. it. And I'm just applying it directly out of the pullet. Okay, and I'm also going to use this iconic nude lip cheat by Charlotte Tilbury. This is just to kind of define the lip shape. Um, you can really just kind of put it on top of the lipstick. And if you don't really want to see the lip liner, you can always use a lip brush to kind of diffuse it. I actually like seeing a little bit of the lip liner. It kind of reminds me of that uh, Brigitte Bordeaux type of look. I don't mind seeing it at all. Just putting that on top, give it a more pouty kind of lip. And this is the makeup look. You look very, very, very good. Thank you so much Thank for letting you. me do your makeup. Rock and roll. <laughs>